Okay. Okay. Mike O'Neill. This is me. It's chapter 12. It's uh, nightlife and tipping. Mike O'Neill, remote working pioneer here, talking about Costa Rica. And uh, this topic is one of my favorites. It's about nightlife and tipping. I think there might have been one night out of 60 nights that I was in Costa Rica that I didn't go out. Maybe one night. And by out, I mean leaving the grounds of the hostel that I was in. I pretty much went out every night. So I'm very skilled at this topic. <laughs> So, um, but we're not going to start with the, with the nightlife. We're going to start with kind of what, what it, how it gets started. So, you do your stuff during the day. I work from 10 to 4. Those are my hours. You know, I we're at work where I can talk to people out there um, on Zoom and all and, and doing the work for them. I try to do 9 to 4, you know, but by 4, I'm pretty much got it winded down. Because the sun goes down about 5.30, and I want to be well in place to watch it like that and be with all the other cool people who feel the same way. That's what you do. You go to watch the sunset in Costa Rica. It, it just can't help it. So, but uh, there are bars and restaurants that are right on the beach that are even better places where you can sit and drink and eat and watch the sunset. So that's the quan. That's, that's the, the goal. You know, where can I sit and eat and drink and be comfy and watch the sun go down? So um, uh, restaurants there, the kind, of, the kind of food you get in restaurants there is going to be, you know, kind of like you would at a Denny's here in terms of pricing if you're going to go out at night. You're going to pay 10, 15 bucks for a meal, 20 bucks for a steak, you know, that kind, that kind of stuff. Um, the, the beer prices are, are, are good prices on beer and, and stuff. I don't know about wine and the others, but, you know, it's a buck, 52 bucks for a beer, sometimes 250 for a beer. And I mean, it's a... Uh, it's a great beer, okay? So, um, but by about six o'clock or so, some of the places will have live music. And you'll, it'll generally one person, a guitarist or something that's playing, and they may do something called looping, where they kind of do a little something and that's like recorded and it's playing and then they do the drums and you hear the drums and they, then they hear the bass, the bass, the bass, the bass, and then they come and play. So they can sound like a whole big band through a, a technology called looping. And uh, professional musicians do it all the time. Um, Ed Sheeran does it big time. He sets a little this, sets a little, sets a little, takes him, you know, they can take a minute to set up the next song and stuff. But that's what you want to do. You want to you go be in place to watch the sunset on the beach, preferably, preferably, you know, maybe sitting down, having a drink or all, or walking the beach into the sunset is just, just wonderful. The sun sets over there, so I'm just walking, and you've got your feet in the water a little bit while you're watching the sun go down. It was, it's, it's the biggest memory you'll have in all of Costa Rica. Really, I put, I, I put it in your mind. You, you've got to be able to picture that, right? Hear this. You can do it with a bottle of beer in your hand going down the beach. And I have some videos to talk about beer bottles on the beach. So, let's see, did I miss anything? Oh, yes, you might find that you've got a regular bar that you hang out at. In fact, if you stay for more than a week, that's gonna be the case, because you're gonna go back the next week to the bar. You know, you were there on Wednesday night, but Thursday night they have music, and you missed it, so you go back tomorrow or go back to another time or another day of the week where it's ladies night or something. Um, let me share, by the way, ladies night in Costa Rica is on Wednesdays. And it's really, really celebrated in certain places. In Puerto Viejo, ladies night is an un freaking believable beach party right on the beach, right in front of Johnny's, okay? Um, and that's why one of the reasons I love Puerto Viejo so much is they had loud music going, like, man, run to bass, man. Um, so, I want to talk next about tipping. Tipping. It's so wonderful that the tip is included in your restaurant fee, in your, in your drink fee. They automatically tip 10% and it goes direct to the server. You're also going to pay a 13% sales tax, 13%. So whatever you have has 23% in it for, for service and government. 
Now, oftentimes, the, the taxes are included in the price that you see. It's 4,000 colonies, and that includes tax and tip. So you don't have to think about these extra things. You never have to think about tipping unless there's a couple things. You might tip a little bit to the guys who take you on an excursion, flip them five bucks, something like that. Um, there's other times, like if you're at an American, a bar that's a, a real American or an expat bar, where everyone looks like John, Fred, Tom, Sally. They kind of expect a tip, and they expect a tip in American dollars. They like to get a couple bucks, American dollars, $5 bill, a couple bucks. But the locals, if you're in a place where it's a local person, no tipping, hardly at all. Um, you might tip a cabbie a little bit, you know, that kind of stuff. But generally speaking, your fees are in the prices, just what you see there. So it's not like other places. Not like coming to the States, where you go check in at a, rest, at a, at a, at a hotel in the States, and they find out there's a room tax, and a this tax, and a that tax once you get there. So there is um, nighttime, nighttime. And by the way, nighttime, you want to know what time the bars close. Okay, you want to know what time the bars close. If they close at 11, well, they'll probably be there till 11. If they close at 12, you know, maybe you go home a little bit earlier. So, you know, two people seem to peter out energy-wise between 10 and 11 or so. But uh, I stay out till bar close time because I love to be at the bars when they're closing and all the people party in the streets. They literally go get, before bars close, Go get a six pack of beer and go head down, in most cases, down to the bonfire on the beach. It starts at 11 or 12. So think about that. You know, when you get done with your nightlife, you know, especially like in Tamarindo or Santa Teresa, you know, on the Pacific side, let's go to the bonfire and hang out with our beers. That work for wine. So there are some ideas on tipping and also on, you know, nightlife and things like that. Try to find a live band. Okay, I recommend this gentleman, Brian Sanchez. He's a loop master. He's my buddy. I saw him four times on my trip in different cities. It's absolutely astounding. On my YouTube channel, you can enjoy much music from Brian Sanchez. It's badass. Badass stuff. Pink Floyd, The Doors, stuff of his own. I can just picture it now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm almost there sharing it with you. So come join me in Costa Rica, okay? Mike O'Neill, remote working pioneer, talking about Costa Rica.